Hi, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday. So it was my birthday on the 26th of July. On the 25th of July I had a little party and some of my friends came around so some of them bought me some presents. Uh, so I thought I'd show you what I got. I also got some presents for my husband and my children and obviously my family as well. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you some of the things that I got for my birthday. So the first thing I got was off one of my friends and it's edible and it's already been eaten but I thought I'd show you the box. He picked me up a 12 pack of Krispy Kreme donuts. It was the ring ones, the original ones. They were very nice. Obviously I have two children and I also have a husband who's obsessed with cake. So they did not last very long. My husband and my children helped to eat those. So they are all gone now. I also got some lovely chocolates off my friends as well. So I got this Lint Master Chocolate Collection is this one so you get 18 chocolates in this one now my husband loves it when i get fancy chocolates for my birthday because i don't like nuts and a lot of chocolates have nuts in so lawrence always gets all the chocolates with nuts in so he loves it when i get things like this so i think in this one there is there's eight with nuts in out of the 18 so he's going to be getting eight chocolates out of this so he's very very happy but yeah it's a lovely little box of chocolates off my friends I also got these orange macaroons these are from Hotel Chocolat Chocolat uh, it says it's milk chocolate with a zippy uh, Venetian orange whip so they look very nice and then also to match that I got the raspberry macaroons but it looks like these ones are melted obviously it's been so hot recently and yeah the raspberry ones have melted i'm sure they'll still taste just as nice melted um but yeah i got those let's give you a closer look at them so yeah there we go that's what they should look like the orange ones and then this is what the uh raspberry ones look like like i said i'm sure they'll taste the same but yeah so that's a really nice gift off my friends then my sister uh, she has a little flower arranging business she's just set up so she arranged a lovely basket of flowers for me from birthday and it's really really pretty i absolutely love it it looks so nice on our dining room table so i'm so happy with this that she got for me i hope it lasts a while although some of the flowers are drooping a bit so i probably need to water them but it's so pretty it's a shame they don't last forever isn't it but it's just absolutely gorgeous really really pretty i love all the pinks in it and all the greens it's just perfect it's absolutely lovely and it comes in this little basket as well so you can always keep the basket afterwards in fact alice would probably love playing with this little basket afterwards but yeah i absolutely love this it's probably one of my favorite gifts it just looks so pretty i just wish it would last forever because it's so nice yeah i definitely need to probably water that today so I got that off my sister and then off Lawrence. Lawrence got me a nice little bouquet of flowers, some roses. Let's see. So it's got like a pink and orange and yellow roses in it. Uh, one of my friends got me a bottle of Malibu. However, <laughs> I don't actually drink alcohol. Um, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this. I think the last time I drank alcohol was like 2014, 2015, so a long time ago now. Um, but when I did drink, I did always used to drink Malibu, so he obviously remembered that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Maybe uh, another friend might like it, I have to say. So my children got me a present each. I've got one of Alice and one of Leo. So the one, I think this one was of Alice. Uh, is this little mug it's a little disney mug it's of disney world so it's got disney world castle it's got little characters around it and it's really really cute i think i have got this in a disney haul so if you do want to see a closer look at this it will be in a disney haul i just think it's really really cute little mug and i absolutely love it i did actually know that i was getting this because i saw it when we were in the liverpool disney store and i asked Lawrence if i could have it my birthday so i knew that i already had this here's a little closer look at the mug 
I'm look, really looking forward to getting this out and displaying it now that I've actually got it. It's such a lovely mug. I'm going to have fun uh, in, a, in a day or so where I can put all these things out in my room and display them. So then the present that I got off Leo was this gorgeous replica journal from Enchanted. Enchanted is probably one of my favourite uh, Disney films. I really, really, really love Enchanted and there's not a lot of merch out there for Enchanted. This is actually the only piece of Enchanted merch that I've got and other than like dolls, I think they've had the old doll out, I've not really seen anything else Enchanted. So it was really, really nice to get this really beautiful book. I'm not going to write in it, I'm just going to display it somewhere though. I'm not sure where I'm going to display it um, because I've not got any Enchanted merch to go with it. So um, I'll have to find somewhere because it definitely needs to go on display somewhere. It's just so pretty. Absolutely love that one. And then off my husband I got this gorgeous bag. Again I already knew I was getting this because I asked him to get this for me, so I did know I was getting this. I absolutely love it. It's got all the like old posters on from Disney movies. So it's like Lady and the Tramp, Dumbo, Bambi, and the Aristocats. And here comes Alice. <laughs> so little Alice has come to join in the video. Leo is napping, but Alice was just watching the telly, but she's decided. She's decided to come and join us, haven't you? Yeah. Alice really wants to open this mug that she got me for um, my birthday because she thinks she wants the Donald car that's on it. She doesn't realise that it doesn't come off. He drives. Yeah, he drives, but he doesn't come off. He's stuck on there, sweetie. He doesn't come off. Yeah, he's just, a, he's just like for display. You can't play with him. Okay. Mm. You just have to look at him, okay? No. Yeah, we can't play with him. Hello. You wanna open it? Right, we're gonna open this and have a look. I hope she doesn't break it. Yeah. I'll get it out. Look, 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 it's a nice mug. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mug. Yeah. Yeah, but Donald doesn't come up, baby. Yeah, look, it's a little uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! It's a little mat. And you put your cup on it, see, like that. Donald doesn't come off. No, he doesn't come off, darling, see. Can't play with him, he's just stuck on the mat. Yeah, he's stuck on the mat, darling. Can I go? Yeah, he doesn't go. He doesn't go. He doesn't drive, he doesn't drive, no. He just sits on here. Yeah, should we go watch this squad now? Yeah, it's dark, look. Yeah. You can touch him if you want. He's stuck, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's stuck. Yeah, rabbit's stuck. Dumbo's stuck and Snow White is stuck. Don't pull. Yeah, they're stuck, aren't they? Mummy's gonna go and put this up here with her mum. Should we go watch Dear Squad? Okay, and then the final item that I got off my husband was this little umbrella. Again, it matches the bag. I absolutely love it. I've not had a chance to use this yet because it's been so hot, but I'm pretty sure come um, autumn it's gonna I'm gonna be needing this every day because obviously we live in Manchester and it rains practically every day when it's not summer, so I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this. I did also, I did also get some money uh, for my birthday as well. So I have ordered a few things. So they should be coming tomorrow. I will insert them in later. Hi, so it's actually now a couple of days later. I didn't get to finish the haul the other day. So I'm gonna finish it off now, which is good because a few things that I ordered from with my birthday money have arrived. So I can show you those as well. The first thing I'm going to show you that I bought with my birthday money is some bath bombs from Lush. I love Lush bath bombs and they're quite expensive so I tend to only usually get them when I've got like birthday money or Christmas money or something or if for a little treat uh, like for Mother's Day or something like that. So I had some birthday money so I thought you know what I'm going to treat myself to a couple of bath bombs. So 
I got myself Temple of the Sky. I actually really like this one, so does Lawrence. Lawrence actually treated himself to one as well. These are really citrusy. You can definitely tell this citrus smell, I think. This is one of the more expensive ones. I think this is like, I think this one's like $5.95. It's quite dear, um, but it is very strong on smell. And it's this one, the Temple in the Sky. They've actually changed the shape of it. It used to be like a really large sort of round flat one, but now it's like more of a bath bomb shape. So I'll just give you a close up of this one. So this is the Temple of the Sky one. It's got a little temple on. I see they've changed the shape, so it's like more like a bath bomb shape now. So that's that one. And then I also got Floating Flower. Now this one I think is nearly seven pounds. I didn't realise how much it was, but apparently it's got cocoa butter in, it's supposed to make your skin feel really soft, and apparently it's got a real flower in it, um, which ends up floating in your bath. So I'm quite interested to use this one. So this is what it looks like. So this is the floating flower bath bomb, so it's blue with white flower on top this flower's really really nice and then the final bath gum i bath bomb i got was the intergalactic one this is one of my favorite ones it makes your bath a really nice blue color i'm not quite sure what's in it uh, but i do like the colors in this one but i tend to always get this one when i go there it goes it's the intergalactic one really pretty this is the Inted Galactic Bath Bomb. So I love all the colours in this one. It's really, really pretty. I think this one's about five, five or six pounds. Can't quite remember. So that's all the bath bombs that I got. Then from Hobbycraft, I got a five pound birthday voucher. So I just picked up some Disney Fat Quarters. These were five pounds, so it didn't cost me anything. And the Princess one, so you get four fat quarters in a pack so you get this one with princesses on you get this one with like a shoe a castle a heart a shell just to represent all the different princesses uh, again this one's got all like little shapes to represent the princesses and then you've got this one pink one with the princesses on i wouldn't usually have got these but i thought since i had a five pound voucher i might as well so I'm not sure what I'm going to make with these. I have bought myself some new emos of my birthday money, but they've not arrived yet. So they will probably have to be in a Disney haul later on. Uh, but I thought I could make some clothes for them with these. So that might be a fun thing to do. So here's a close look of the fat quarters that you get in this set. So there you go. You've got Belle, Aurora, Cinderella and Snow White on that one. So this one's just a spotty one with a few... Um, symbols from the princesses. You've got pumpkin, a castle, things like that. And then this one is a striped one with the symbols from the princesses. That way. And then this one's got all the princesses. I think this is my favourite one of the pack. Then the next thing I got with my birthday money was this stationery set from Aldi. So this is a Disney princess stationery set. And I loved it because it's all pastel colours. If you know me, I love pastel. I love my Disney collection to be pastel colours. So in this you get six fiber tip pens, an A4 notebook, pen, pencil, sharpener, pencil tin and ruler. It did have another pack which had an A4 folder. It had two notebooks but they weren't hardback, they were just paper. Uh, whereas this one's hardback which is why I went for this one. And then it had a pen in it and a smaller A4 a5 notebook but i thought this was better because it's a hardback notebook so yeah i thought that was really good for 4 99 i've not actually taken it out to look at it yet so let's have a look so this is the gorgeous pencil tin it's got bell snow white and ariel and they're all in lovely pastel colors i absolutely love that let's sit on my desk I absolutely love this notebook, it's so pretty. See, I would have got the other set as well, but Lawrence wouldn't let me get two. 
Oh, it's such a pretty notebook. Oh, inside the pages have, um, they've got a shell, a book, an apple, a, a shoe, and a crown to represent the princesses. So on here you've got Aurora, Ariel, Snow White, Cinderella, and Belle. It's just so pretty, I absolutely love that, so nice. And then these are the pens that you get. Little ruler and a pencil, and the pencil says be true to yourself. And it's just got like a slip, um, a shoe and some birds on it. I will give you a closer look to these at this in a second. Well, there's a closer look of the notebook. And then inside on the page you can see there is a crown, a shoe, an apple, a shell and a book. So that's quite nice. Here is a closer look of the pencil tin. So you've got Ariel, Snow White and Belle. And then it's just plain inside. And it says time to shine. So there is the ruler that you get in the set. I think it's similar to the um, pencil case. Then just get some of these pens. And these say, make your soul happy on them. I don't know if he's going to focus. I don't know if you can see that, but it says make your soul happy. And it says the same on the sharpener. And then the pen has Snow White on it. So the next item that I got, I got off eBay. And it is a um, Alice in Wonderland cube pocket. And it is a pastel one. It's the one that I've always wanted never been able to find and it was £24 plus £4 postage which obviously is a bit more than I like to spend on cute poskets but because it's so hard to get hold of I thought I'm just going to go for it. It's brand new as well, it was all still packaged up so I was really really happy with this and she's so pretty and she looks so nice on my shelf. There she is, absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see this in more detail, I have done an unboxing video for it and it will be up probably in a couple of weeks time because I've still got a few more to go up. But yeah, there will be an unboxing video going up for her very soon. So here's a closer look of my Alice figure. She is so cute. I think she is definitely my favourite one. And then I also got the Enchantress Pop figure. I got this off Shop Disney. They had 20% off it. So it should have been $19.99, I got it for $15.99, which I didn't think was too bad. I thought $19.99 was too much for a pop, but $15 could just about justify it. Um, and because I haven't got any Enchantress merchandise, uh, this is the only thing I've ever seen of the Enchantress. And obviously I've got a lot of Beauty and the Beast merch, so I thought I really want this to go with that. So yeah, she's really, really pretty. Again, I've done an unboxing video for her as well, so if you want to see her in more detail, that should again go up in a few weeks time. So then here's a close look at the Enchantress, Enchantress figure. We'll get her out so you can have a better look. Okay so here is the Enchantress. You can see she's holding her wand. She's got her little rose in her hand and she's just really really pretty. I love her hair. Oh. Yeah I think she's a very pretty pop figure. And then the final thing that I got is this little white rabbit fluffy puffy. <laughs> now I've got the other ones in the series. You can get the Cheshire Cat and the Oyster and I already have those. So he was the last one in the set that I wanted to get. So I thought I'll get him and he can go on my Alice shelf because I don't actually have a white rabbit on my Alice shelf so I did really need one. I just wish he was a little bit more pastel coloured. Usually these um, Fluffy Puffies are really pastel coloured, but he's the only one that's not. He's got a bright red jacket, which I know he does have in the film, but I thought they might have made him a bit more pinky. So he's more pastel, but they didn't, so there he is. He's really, really cute. These are really small. Uh, his was 13 99 I got him from Forbidden Planet. Um, but yeah, he goes cute on my shelf, and it was with my birthday money, so I don't feel so bad for spending that much on him. And here's a little closer look at the right rabbit. He's very, very cute. 
So that is everything in this birthday haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm so lucky to be able to have got all these lovely gifts. So thank you very much to everyone who bought me a gift or gave me some money. Um, I'm really lucky and I'm really happy with everything I got, so thank you. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little haul video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.